Yo, what's up viewers of YouTube? It's Tyler here of Chico Crypto and welcome to another episode about 10 to 15 minutes of pure crypto knowledge in another episode of Breaking Down the Blockchain. Now, I've heard the Chico crypto community loud and clear, and a CP chain tech breakdown was echoing across the walls. So it's my pleasure to bring you the first time CP chain has been fully featured on my channel. So what is CP chain? To start, CP stands for cyber physical, and it's a next level distributed infrastructure platform for the internet of things. This will be done by enabling IoT devices to interact with different data sets across cross-chain applications and decentralized applications. CP chain is essentially the transmission vehicle, which is deeply integrated with blockchain technology and encryption computation, and it will allow for industry-wide scalability in the IoT sector. Let's now take a deep dive into the architecture that is CP chain to understand how they plan to accomplish this. Current commercial blockchain systems such as Ethereum and Bitcoin are facing the bottleneck in terms of scalability, and this is primarily due to the high cost of data storage and calculation on their blockchains. And there's also the low efficiency of their consensus mechanisms. With these distributed systems and proof-of-work consensus mechanisms, each node in the network stores the same data and performs the same computational tasks which for IoT would leave a massive burden on the system and basically make it unusable. CP Chain has a unique structure which will solve these problems. CP Chain is constructed using a parallel distributed architecture. With CP Chain, there is a distributed cloud storage layer where data is stored off chain. Parallel to this layer is the blockchain, which can be industry specific chains connecting back to the CP main chain. Moving deeper into the design, they introduce a hierarchical structure, which is made up of the physical layer, data layer, contract layer, and the application layer. The physical layer is the basis for data acquisition and includes the smartphone, sensors, data gateways, and others. The data layer's function is the processing of the main chain data, designing of different data structures and compression algorithms for varying applications, and allowing their original data to be stored off the blockchain. The contract layer is the core of the system function, and it is where the intelligent contracts will interact with the blockchain and the application layer. The application layer is the interface between the user and the contracts, and can be developed to different requirements. The blockchain is used as a vertical control layer and is used to supervise data interaction between the hierarchy of layers. So let's now see how data is secured within CP chain. To start, all raw data is encrypted locally and signed by the data owner. This data is then partitioned or split up and stored on different nodes in the cloud storage using distributed hash tables. And it basically makes it impossible for host nodes to know the raw data. At the same time, the hash value of the data is stored on the blockchain as proof of integrity and the accuracy of that data, as well as identification of the data. So, the blockchain has access to control over the data. When an owner stores the data, the blockchain then stores access rights for the data records. When a user attempts to retrieve the data, they must provide a proof of identity, which is confirmed and stored on the blockchain. This will then allow them to use and access the data. Malicious or bad nodes could exist in the system and ignore access rights to data, but as we know, the data is encrypted on the user side, and each node only saves a random part of that data. Therefore, the impact of malicious nodes is limited. Let's now take a little bit deeper look at data sharing and how encryption will work. To ensure data security and privacy, CP Chain will be stripping the data layer from the blockchain. All original data is encrypted on the user side. The main challenge CP Chain will face is how to implement the computing and sharing of the encrypted data. They are proposing a combination of symmetric and asymmetric encryption based on re encryption technology. This will allow one-to-many authorizations of data instead of one-to-one -one authorizations. 
And if they used the traditional public key encryption system, they would only be allowed one-to-one -one authorizations. So now let's move on to consensus. Due to the expansive scale of the Internet of Things, CP chain cannot use traditional consensus mechanisms such as proof of work or practical Byzantine fault tolerance. That is why CP chain is building a committee-based two-layer consensus to enhance the performance. In the first layer of consensus, the system performs a local electoral algorithm at the beginning of when a block is added to determine the level of nodes in the round. CP chain will implement node credibility where the trust and role of a node is predetermined. The election process implements distributed probability luck value for randomness, which helps prevent targeted attacks and the controlling of the behavior of the CP chain network. The second layer of consensus, the block packing, verification, and the whole network broadcast is completed. Consensus agreements last for X number of rounds, and then re-elections happen. During the process of adding a block, the credit value of the node will be updated. If there is a high amount of downtime or malicious behavior, the credit value will then go down a certain threshold and that node could be deleted from the committee and further elections. For the real-time demands of IoT, data interaction cannot happen through the main chain. That is why CP chain is designing a side chain consensus system, which will be accelerated through hardware acceleration. Now we know that CP chain is partnered with hardware accelerated high performance blockchain. So I'm sure they are working together on this to transmit data to potentially billions of devices in real time. Now CP chain is going open source with Pdash, which is their multi-level blockchain architecture. But some bonus releases are in the works. CP chain will implement masternodes and their tier description is being released in August. The mainnet is releasing in October, which will include the token swap from the ERC20 token, which CP Chain currently is. One thing I would like to highlight with this project is the early investors. Not only high performance blockchain, but there is a community cooperation with VeChain, Qtum, and Metaverse ETP. So their web is strong in the Chinese crypto sphere, but they also are working on a series of strategic partnerships outside of cryptocurrency. SAIC Motors ring a bell? Yes, besides Elastos, SAIC is in talks with CP Chain. I definitely can see the three collaborating for the future of smart car technology. CP Chain is also in talks with several hospital, transportation firms, and insurance and AI companies. The most recent partnership comes from Hunan Zichao Medical AI, and they will focus on using CP Chain for its clinical decision support system. CP Chain is undervalued and a very underrated project whose take on IoT is the correct way to scalability. I really like the way they are creating a multi-level approach to their blockchain structure and stripping away the data layer onto the cloud. This will reduce the blockchain bloat and will allow CP Chain to scale into the future of IoT. Well viewers, thanks for taking the time to watch this episode of Breaking Down the Blockchain featuring CP Chain. Let me know in the comments any others you'd like me to break down and I will be sure to get to them. Cheers. Have a great day.